These are the sponsors for this episode. We cannot thank these people on the screen enough for their generosity. We would also like to highlight Nana for her consistency which helps to keep us going. If you want to join these awesome sponsors, just use the Cash app on the screen. Thank you. Before the echo up, the solitude, the zigzag lightning, play the games in the universe. I know before there was a win or where, or a thin or there. I know, I know before the foundation of the earth was laid. is over and I want to tell you something that is true prophetically absolutely prophetically true for that which is prophetically true must come to pass and what I'm about to say is prophetically true the song say when the battle is over you're gonna win there is no way for a child of God to lose. You didn't hear that. I say there is no way for a child of God to lose. You still didn't hear that. I can tell the way you look at me, you can hear what I say. Because some of you all look like you're saying to me, I'm losing. Praise the Lord. I said there is no way for a child of God to lose. Praise the Lord. And that isn't just prophetic, the truth. Praise the Lord. I actually know that. And because I know it, you know I've got to believe it. Because once you come to know, you're not believing it anymore. You've gone past believing. And when you go past believing, you go to sleep at night and get a good night's sleep. Because you know it's going to be all right tomorrow morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm looking at some of you going into this new year with a whole lot of problems but the Lord's going to clean them up in the name of our God hallelujah he got a clean up crew and that crew have already been told go take care of her problems go take care of his problems hallelujah clean them up Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless his adorable name. I believe that that's why I pray so much. It's because of what I believe. And I believe for you and for you and you what you don't need believe for yourself. I believe that the kingdom is yours. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I actually believe that the kingdom belongs to you. Now, if you don't want no territorial kingdom, then you'll have to accept only the spiritual kingdom. But I want the spiritual kingdom and the territorial kingdom. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The spiritual kingdom comes this way. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things shall be added unto you. And all these things the Bible speaks of tell you houses and land. That's the Bible. Houses, not house, but houses and land. How many you want? Praise the Lord. Houses. And some of you all don't want no house at all. You want to stay 
on the poverty level. And Jesus got a plan for you to rise above that. Yes, he has. Praise the Lord. Jesus got a plan for every child of God. I mean tailor-made just for you. And hell can change that plan. Blessed shall I be when I come in, and blessed shall I be when I go it down. That's God's plan. Praise the Lord. And hell can't change that plan. Somebody need to start thinking, I'm blessed. I say you need to start thinking. I'm blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us say a prayer together because Jesus is going to do something for his people yes Lord hallelujah Jesus is going to do something for his people I said Jesus is going to do something for his people. oh hallelujah thank you Jesus who oh, praise his name now if you want him to do something for you tell him thank you praise the Lord if you believe he can do it, tell him thank you. If you know he can do it, tell him thank you. Lord Jesus Christ, you can break any chain and every fetter. You can move any mountain. You can fill up any valley. You can straighten any crooked. Nothing is too hard for you. Jesus, in your name, in your name, Jesus, in that name that conquered hell, in that name that conquered death, in that name that conquered all the principalities and powers, let that name be the weapon in every saint's heart, in every saint's life, through your name, Jesus, give them the victory. Through your name, Jesus, give them the victory. Through your name, Jesus, oh yeah, give them the victory. Jesus, uh, Jesus, stretch out your hand, Lord. Somebody is waiting for a blessing. Somebody needs a blessing. Somebody's knocking at the door. Want you to open up. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your blood prevail. Let your hand be strong, Jesus. Break the forces of evil. In the name of Jesus. Break that blocking demon tonight. That hindering demon. That blocking that blessed Lord. In the name of Jesus, set him aside. Uh, give her the victory. Give him the victory, Lord. Oh, Jesus, do it, Lord. Do it for your glory. However, to your heart. Do it for your honor. Do it for your praise. And if you'll do it, we'll praise you for it. If you'll do it, we'll magnify you. If you'll do it, we'll glorify you. If you do it, Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask these blessings in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. And amen. And amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Turn with me again to the book of Daniel and the book of Joshua. Joshua 6 and Daniel 7. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We would read just one verse in the book of Daniel because we read several verses there in the other message. That's verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even 
forever and ever. Now the word ever is used four times. Forever, even, forever, and ever. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is one blessing that the devil can't take. There is a word called everlasting. That which has no end. There is another word called eternal. That has no end. The things which have no end. Bless forever. Glory. I sleep that. I eat it. I drink it. It's my tea in the morning. You notice I didn't say it's my coffee. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And it's my midnight snack. I'm blessed forever. And ever. And ever. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when God made promises to his people, according to the Old Testament, he gave them a covenant of agreement. Ah, he gave them a promise with an oath. The covenant, the covenant of agreement was a promise that man made to God and God made to man. It's a covenant called an agreement. But God goes one step further than a covenant. A covenant is good enough, but he goes one step further than the covenant because some folks, it's hard for them to believe. Hallelujah. I don't know why, but some people are just doubters. I think they were born like that. Praise the Lord. They doubt themselves. They doubt everybody. They are miserable folks. I wouldn't be you for nothing in the world. Because I actually believe that I'm born to be blessed. That ain't just talk. I believe that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm born to be blessed. And the reason I believe it is what the Lord himself has said to me. And another reason I believe it is because of what the devil has tried to do to me. Praise the Lord. I believe it from that point of view. Because when you are born to be blessed, you can be sure Satan is going to give you a hard time somewhere along the way. It isn't going to be easy because a blessed person must fight more than anyone else. The devil just don't like blessed folks. Never did like them. But he can't do nothing about it. He raised a lot of hell, but he can't change the situation. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Raised a lot of sad, but he can't change nothing. You know what he did to Job. He beat him to a pulp. Took everything he had, but he couldn't change nothing. Hallelujah. If you're born to be blessed, you're born to be blessed. And Job was born to be blessed. And the devil didn't like it because he was blessed. And I mean he was so blessed materially and spiritually until he was called the richest man in the East. Oh, I like that blessing. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I like that material blessing along with that spiritual blessing. 
for God mixes the two together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And show to the world how blessed you really are. Oh, bless his name. And Satan didn't like Job because he was so blessed. I mean blessed until he argued with God about Job and about his blessing. And the Lord told Satan, I'll even let you mess with him and he'll still be blessed. Praise the Lord, just because the devil messes with you, that don't mean nothing. Don't be disturbed because you're having a hard time. Praise the Lord, that's a testimony that something good is down the road. And the devil is trying to derail you before you get here. But you hang in there, honey. <laughs> for weeping may endure for the night. Joy comes in the morning. Oh, blessed is the noble name. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be discouraged because of whatever is happening to you. Because if you go by what's happening to you, you say, I must be cursed. Some of you go through hell. Praise the Lord. Out of one situation, right into another out of one mess right into another well the mess can't continue but so long glory hallelujah the bible said while one servant was speaking to Job, telling Job what happened in one situation here comes another saying about another disastrous situation. Here comes another. About another disastrous situation. Until everything that Job had had been swept away. Glory, hallelujah. And Satan said, this will silence him. This will show him that God isn't as good as he said he was. This will teach him a lesson. Don't put your trust in God. Oh, glory. And then when everything was swept away, Satan sat out on the sideline and said, let's wait and watch him crack up and go totally insane or commit suicide. Job went in his prayer room, came out, with a new song. Oh, glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, I've lost everything. Everything is gone. I don't have nothing. I don't even have money to pay my maid anymore. I don't have money to pay my butler. I don't have money to pay my bills. Glory. Hallelujah. I was the richest man in the east, now I'm the poorest man on earth. Glory, hallelujah. And I'm brought to shame and to disgrace before the eyes of men. But Job said, listen to this song that the Lord gave me. I want to sing it to you because I got it by inspiration. Let me hear your song, Job. The Lord give it the Lord take it bless it bless it bless it be the name of the Lord oh my pretty time I'll wait until my change come oh my pretty time I'll wait until my change comes. The Lord give it. The Lord take it. Bless it. Bless it. Bless it. I'm gonna praise him anyhow. I'm gonna praise him anyhow. I'm gonna praise him anyhow. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. Even though I'm broke, I'm gonna praise him. I lost everything. I'm gonna praise him.
to praise him, honey. Oh, yes, you do. You need to open your beautiful eyes and look at God and stop looking at the poverty. Look at God who short, little old poor preacher. Praise our God didn't have nothing. Thank you, Jesus had a wife, one child, and another one on the way. Couldn't pay my bills. Couldn't preach too good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everything was against me. Pretty inexperienced. Haven't gone through but just so much. And here I am going to take the city. Praise the Lord. It looked more like the city was going to take me. <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! And then came the doomsayers, the discouraging folks. <laughs> folks who want you to look down instead of looking up. <laughs> well, thank you! Folks who want you to fail and not succeed. Had to run into all those kind of folks. <laughs> Hallelujah. One preacher told me, he said, man, if I was you, I'd pack up and go back to New York City because the bishop sent you out here to die. Praise the Lord. He was right about that. He sent me out here to die to William Lee. <laughs> Hallelujah. I had to get William Lee out of the way, honey. Praise the Lord. But he thought I was going to die spiritually I was on a backslide that's what he thought praise the Lord don't you know what man call your cemetery is your developing place huh? what man call your cemetery is a place of your blessing huh? did you know that praise the Lord hallelujah God takes you through strange circumstances but I knew from the very day I sat foot in Detroit, I'm blessed. All I need is patience and wait on God. In his own good time, he's going to make a way somehow. Well, praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. And you are so blessed until the devil knows that you are blessed. Glory, hallelujah. This is my kingdom, honey. The devil is going to have one centrilla of my kingdom. Glory, hallelujah. Uh -uh. The Bible says, as we read here in this verse, it isn't my kingdom temporary. It is forever, ever, forever, and ever. It's mine. Glory, hallelujah. And some of you all have seen something slip past you and it had brought chaos into your thoughts. Things that have slipped past you have brought chaos into your life because you see it as a tragedy, as a letdown. Glory. I don't see it like that. Anything that went past me and I didn't get it, there was something better coming behind me. Praise the Lord. You can hear that. Hallelujah. Something better coming behind you. God don't take nothing from you. And if the devil take it, praise the Lord, God got something better than what he took. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil took everything Job had, and God sent something better. Four times. Look, four times. He made him four times richer than what he was before. He was the richest man in the East, and it made him four times richer. Now he's the richest man in the North, in the South, in the East, and the West. Praise the Lord. But he was poor because the devil dealt him a blow that he thought he would tumble his empire. Tumble his empire. The devil will actually believe that he can shake you by the things you suffer. He actually believes 
that he can deceive you by the things that you suffer and that you will give up your hope in righteousness. Hallelujah. He believes that. He follows a trick trend of thought. But what the devil doesn't know is that God acquaints us with him. And it ain't no tamarind acquaintance. It's no arguing acquaintance. And it's no clap hands acquaintance. This thing runs deep. Oh yes it does. This thing runs deep. It's way down inside. Hallelujah. And believe me when I tell you, it's so deep inside of me that if I don't feel no anointing, I'm not discouraged. If I don't feel that shouting, I'm not discouraged. I know you got to go through some valleys. You got to go through some hell. You got to have some hard times. This is a part of salvation. Oh, but they can wait upon the Lord. Oh, how you got to die. Hallelujah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Lord, I tell you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They shall renew their strength. Now let me tell you something. I'd much rather go through hell and be renewed than to sit in heavenly places and never be renewed. I take the hell every time. Things you go through make you strong. You see these folks on television? Exercise. Trying to build muscles. Yeah. Taking steroids. Going through all these changes. Trying to show off their muscles. Praise the Lord. They're going through all of that to be strong. Glory. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. And you know why I take so much? It's my exercise. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's my exercise. Praise the Lord. All oh, while wow. the devil is supplying me with exercise, he think I'm getting weak all the time and I'm getting strong all the time. In the name of my God, I'm getting so strong, if he don't watch himself, I'm going to knock him out. Praise the name of my God. kick a man if he gets strong enough and the devil is a kick up a person just wait on God baby God gonna give you enough strength that you can step on his head put him under your feet praise the name of my God and give you the victory <laughs> thank you Jesus so I'm having my exercise Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Getting stronger every day. Hallelujah. Getting stronger every night. All right, hallelujah. Anybody got anything you want to say about me? Go ahead and say it. It's my exercise. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Go ahead and laugh at me. It's my exercise. Go ahead and criticize me. It's my exercise. Go ahead and say, ain't going to never be nothing. It's my exercise. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And when you get through talking, I'm going to be strong. When you get through backbiting, I'm going to be strong. When you get through lying on it, I'm going to be strong. Woo! <laughs> hallelujah. Why don't somebody in the house say I'm blessed? Oh, praise the good Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. I like that word, take. Hallelujah. Shall take it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Take now. Swallow that. A lot of you are, Lord, 
please give me, give me, please, please, Lord. The same shall take. God prepares you to take. Makes you strong enough to take. Thank you, Jesus. You can't take nothing when you're weak. God makes you strong enough to take. Take that man out there with his 45. Praise our God, you out there minding your own business. He stick that 45 in your face and say, give me your pocketbook. Did he take it? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't give it to him. <laughs> he took it. Praise the Lord. I think you got the message now. Praise the Lord. Anytime you take something, you don't walk up and ask what you take it. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Follow me now. When the Lord got ready to bless his people, he took the kingdom away from the heathens and gave it to his people. Now, it is your job to believe that the kingdom is yours. Hallelujah. Are you listening? If the kingdom is mine, then I need to close the Bible. And don't preach no more. And I tell you, I ain't going to close this book. Because the kingdom is mine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. The kingdom is mine, baby. Hallelujah. Listen to this. When God gives you something, he even tell the devil it's yours. I mean, the Lord tell the devil it's yours. That's right. The Lord don't just give it to you. He tell the devil that's hers. Don't you touch it. That belongs to her. Hallelujah. Listen to this. In Joshua 2, 9, and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land. The word land can be translated kingdom because you're talking about territory. Hallelujah. The Lord has given you the land of uh, the kingdom. And that your terror is falling upon us. And that all of the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. Hallelujah. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. And when you came out of Egypt and what he did unto two kings of the Amorites and were on the other side of Jericho. Sihon and all whom ye utterly destroyed. Now this is, this is a sinner talking to saints. This is the devil's child who is smart enough to get off of Satan's side and get on God's side. Hallelujah. She said, God has given you the kingdom. Now, note this, the people whom God has given the kingdom don't believe it. They south of the church talking about the giants, talking about the monsters that live in the kingdom that we can't defeat. Talking about those great people of the Canaanites who are so smart and we are so dumb. 
And we are not going to cross this Jordan to go nowhere. Now if the Lord has given you the victory, you ought to, ought to go get it. I didn't hear ya. Praise the name of God. If the Lord has given you a miracle, go ahead and pick it up. Don't just sit there with your arms full. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. I was in Birmingham preaching, praise our God, and I said to somebody, I don't know who it is in this place, but you are so broke and you are so financially distressed until you are about to go crazy. I said, but don't go crazy tonight because tomorrow morning there's going to be a miracle in your mailbox. I don't know what made me say that, but I said it. And then after I said it, I said, oh my God, what did I say? Everybody in here will be going to the mailbox tomorrow morning. Praise the name of our God, hallelujah. Expecting a miracle in the mailbox. Glory be to God. And this particular woman who was under this kind of pressure went to the mailbox. Praise the name of God. And there was nothing in the mailbox. Hallelujah. She said, I knew that preacher didn't know what he was talking about. And when she went back in the house, praise our God, somebody a few minutes later knocked on her door. And when she went to the door, they say, special delivery, ma'am. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I got a special delivery for somebody who lives in this house. Are you that woman? And she said, yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! If it isn't in the first delivery, it'll be in the second. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! If it isn't in the first mail, it'll be in the second. There's a special delivery. <laughs> God's going to give you your territory. God's going to give you your territory. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah! This is your territory, it belongs to you. This is your blessing, honey. And hell can't stop him from blessing you. Praise the name of God, hallelujah. It is in God's will and in God's plan that every child of God during these 21 days are gonna be blessed. You didn't hear what I said. I said it is God's will and it is in God's plan that every child of God in this church, praise our God, visitor and otherwise, is going to be blessed. Praise the name of God. God don't say things he doesn't mean. He, everything God say, he means what he said. Yes, sir. And what God promised you, you can bake on it. Mm -hmm. You can bake on it. Praise the Lord. This hallowed, this whore to God's people, you are blessed. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are so blessed until I know it. <laughs> you are so blessed until everybody in Canaan is shaking in the boots. Everybody in the city know the victory is yours. Everybody in the city is aware that you're coming this way. <laughs> and the Lord is on your side. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is fighting your battle. There is no enemy that can stop you now. The same God that got you out of Egypt is going to bring you into this land. The same God that got you out of sin is going to take you all away. The same God that gave you the Holy Ghost is going to give you something else. The Holy Ghost is only the beginning of what God got for you. Woo! Hallelujah! I say it's only the beginning of what the Lord has for you. Now the devil is trying to sack you into believing ain't nothing gonna happen. Ooh, glory! You couldn't beat 
that in my head was a sledgehammer. Somewhere along the way, there's a special delivery. Ooh, glory. If the regular male man doesn't have it, somebody else got it. Oh, glory. You can be sure that the Lord is going to make a way somehow. You can be sure you are going to receive your portion. You can be sure you're going to have a good time. Hallelujah. You're going to have a shot and good time. And you're not going to shot because of a tambourine. And you're not going to shot because of hand clapping. You're going to shot because look what the Lord Look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. He brought me out of confusion. Hallelujah. I used to be a doubter. I used to be a backslider. But I can't backslide no more. He's done too much for that. He's been too good for that. He brought me from a distance. Nobody thought I could make it. Everybody said that boy never make it. But look at my car. A miracle worker. He's a miracle worker. He's a miracle worker. Woo! Hallelujah! I'm serving notice on the devil. He's got to move himself. He's in the wrong house. He got to get out of your house. Yes, sir. He got to lose your blessing. He got to let you get your miracle. You might as well get ready for it. Because I got a God, hallelujah, that's able to do anything. Able, able, able to do anything. He can break Satan's hope. He can buy. Oh Lucifer, he can bind the Prince of Persia, he can bind your house demon, your job demon, your flesh demon, he can bind everybody, set the captive free for whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. Victory. You ought to shout it. You ought to praise it. You ought to glorify. You ought to magnify. Because he's alive. The victory is yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's This is my king. 